Hello everyone, welcome back to another Adobe Photoshop 2020 tutorial guys. This tutorial I'm going to show you how to use a new tool called Quilt Warp. It's brand new in 2020 to make adjustments, uh, distortions uh, to, to images, to faces. Like with this guy, I, I don't know this guy, I just downloaded him off Pexels. But um, he's gonna get some um, he's gonna get some work done to his face that he didn't authorize. That's all I'm gonna say, guys. So let's take a quick look at how to do this type of stuff. Now I've gone ahead and the first step here is you've got to load in an image just like this. Next step is you got to double click it and create it into a layer. This rasterizes it and it now allows us to get to work on it. Now the next step here is I'm gonna click on the layer and I'm gonna drag and drop it on top of that little square plus sign and that basically allows me to make a layer copy so I'm going to be working on this top layer and I am going to turn the bottom layer off you don't need to do that but I'm going to be showing you the net effect of these uh, effects that we're putting on here so you'll you'll know you'll be able to compare the original versus the the new version so very very simply uh, in order to get this ball rolling you will want to go up to let's just make sure I got this uh, you want to go to edit and then actually let me just click on uh, the top layer part of me. That was my mistake. Uh, we want to go to edit. You want to go to transform and then you're going to see an option that says warp. Now this warp is good enough for a lot of you. So if you want to make some changes, you don't get the fine changes that I'm going to show you in quilt warp. But if I want to make, make it wobbly like this or wobbly like that or maybe add some, you know, weird whatever the hell in here like I've made some pretty weird changes to his face and maybe that's the effect you're going for I'm gonna command or control Z to undo those actions to get him back to the beginning but just keep in mind that if you do go with the warp there is warp that can be done um, but we want to use the quilt warp so enough without further ado again edit we're gonna be doing the fill or, or the, the quilt warp but at the top here you're gonna see something called default now I'm going to select 5x5 five five, and when I do this it gives me a grid and allows us granularity. We can select these different points including their uh, handles and we can move them as we see fit. So in this one here I am going to increase the space between his eyes and it is a gentle, it's a very subtle adjustment but watch me. So I'm going to click this point here. I'm going to move it to the left a little bit. I'm going to click this point here. I'm going to move it to the right a little bit. And you'll see here that there's just the slightest bend. But if this was an effect that you're going for, I would then click over here, click off. Bang, we've adjusted the, the, the space between his eyes. I'm going to turn the bottom one on, turn the top one off. This was the original. Now we've gone ahead and adjusted the space between his eyes. Now I'm going to go back in and make some other changes. So we'll go to edit fill and oh shoot not edit fill <laughs> edit where is it transform warp we're not going to be filling this guy's face with anything like that oh wow that sounded weird um edit transform we're going to get the grid back up and running go back to five by five and i don't know like you guys can you know go nuts do whatever you want to do maybe you want his chin to be a little pointier so i can pull that down here pull that down here maybe I'll pull the uh, these handles. I'm going to work the handles. Okay, yeah, now he's getting a puckered mouth, which is now a little weird, so I'd move that out. Guys, as you can see here, I'm just having fun here, but to make very simple but very effective uh, warps and adjustments to, to a person's face, to an image, this is the tool to use, guys. Quilt Warp Tool. Uh, that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed the new quilt effect. Uh, this is the multi-point effect. I've got a ton of new tutorials coming up. Stay tuned. I'll be back real soon. Thanks.